Steve Dotto here. Thanks for spending time with me today. Today, we're going to talk about a tool that overcomes some of our inadequacies. More specifically, some of my inadequacies. You might not have the same inadequacies as I do, but I have one glaring and profound inadequacy. I make a lot of grammar and spelling mistakes when I write. It's, uh, I think it's, it's my nature that I'm in a rush. And as soon as I finished writing something, I proofread it too quickly. I also have very poor spelling habits. I went to Catholic boys school, our lady of the bleeding knuckles, and they weren't all that interested in, in teaching us really good grammar and really good spelling. But, uh, I, 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 I rush through it. I want to get it out and get on to the next thing. And I, and I'm a solopreneur. I work by myself. So having somebody proofread is an imposition. I have to send it to somebody and ask them to proofread it for me. Or I have to slow down, take be patient, and check it myself. Uh, none of which I'm really good at. Consequently, I often send out my newsletter or make a post with spelling mistakes and grammar mistakes. And those who care about me, those who love me, shake their heads in disappointment on a very regular basis as they say, Steve... I just read your newsletter. What did you do that for? Did you not did you not proofread it? And I look at them and say, "Well, oh, I proofread reread it, sir. I did." And of course, I'm lying. So I knew I had to do something. I had to raise my professional image somewhat. And uh, and and respect the people that I'm communicating with. Frankly, it comes down to respect, doesn't it? So I found this tool called Grammarly. And Grammarly is the world's best grammar checker. At least that's what they say in, in, in their advertisement. They give you 10 reasons you're going to love Grammarly, and they're all here. They check 250 points of grammar. They, they review your, uh, your copy. They catch your spelling mistakes. They catch your little punctuation errors. They do all those sorts of things, and they do it for a fairly reasonable amount of money. So I thought I would sign up for the free trial, and I actually bought Grammarly. It's a, it, it's a tool that I've paid, paid for and bought myself. So I'm going to show you how it fits. Now, the cool thing is, um, even though I, I don't think Grammarly does an unbelievably outstanding job of doing my proofreading, but it's embarked me on a new process which is working for me. So it really works, even though it doesn't quite it doesn't quite do as much as I wish it would. It still does more than enough to make it worthwhile. So let me show you Grammarly. So basically, once you've bought Grammarly and paid for the subscription, and I'll tell you right up front how much it costs. It's not the cheapest web 2.0 service on the planet. It is uh, $29 a month if you just buy it monthly. I paid an annual plan. So what is it? I paid $140 for the year. Now, this is the magic. It's because I spent $140 on it, I use it every time because I don't want to waste the money. It's how your brain works. So now when every time I write anything, I go into my Grammarly and it's just a web-based tool. You just paste it into a window like this and then it goes through that 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 document and it finds all of the different things that you might have said wrong, spelled wrong, or, or written in composition wrong. Now, this is actually not one of my documents. This is a sample document that they use to show you uh, how they catch things. But it's, it's a better document to show than one of mine because mine have pretty much the same mistakes over and over again in the same area. But as, as you go through, all of the mistakes are underlined. And then here in the sidebar, they tell you what the problem is. For years, it's missing a comma. So all you do to correct is just click on it, and it adds the comma. And then you can undo that if you choose later. And you can choose to accept or reject their 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 uh, their idea of what is wrong. Here we probably have a bit of a run-on sentence, a double negative. I don't have no a lot of money either. Well, that's really poorly probably done. Does it fix it? It just describes it here. So what it does is it goes through and describes the grammatical mistake that you have thrust upon the reading public. Now, here's where it works for me, though, is I read through it, and because it, it, it presents it a nice big type, I can see right away all of the problems down the side, but it's become a process where I write what I write, and mostly I write in Evernote. I do most of my writing in Evernote, so I have a nice, di I have a nice digest of it. And then I copy it into here before I copy it, before I paste it into whatever blog or whatever email I'm actually going to be sending. So I go through it and what it does for me is it slows me down. It allows me to slow down and read through it. And they've got all sorts of markup tools. So you can actually, uh, you can see what's turned on. Spelling is turned on. Contextual spelling is turned on. Grammar is turned on. But it just slows me down. The blue underlines, of course, cause me to pause, reread that sentence, and quite often, they'll find things that I've written because I've written it awkwardly and it allows me to stop and think 
and then correct it and write it. And quite often, I'm not even accepting their corrections, but I'm rewriting that sentence because I recognize that I can do it better. So it's, and, and the key is, it's because I spent 140 bucks on it that I use it. I want to get every last nickel of use out of that $140. Now, it has some other tools as well that I want to talk to you about besides just the grammar checking, which does, as I say, work quite well for me. I want to show you their plagiarism tool, which is really valuable. What this does, I'm just going to paste in some copy here. So this is some copy that uh, that I that I use for an email, but I've also used it in a blog post in the past. Now, if we go into their pop-up here, we can turn on vocabulary use, which will include uh, and talk to us about using vocabulary, repeating words, maybe suggest us some better words. But this is another tool that you should think about using on an ongoing basis, especially when you're not the one doing the writing. If you're hiring somebody else to write for you, you have no way of knowing if they've also used that content and delivered that content to somebody else, or indeed if they maybe even lifted it off somebody else. And if we take a look right here, See how this whole thing comes up as a warning, this whole sentence here? That's because if I take a click on it, it's actually been used before online. This is being plagiarized. But in this particular case, it's being plagiarized from me. This is, this is from my own website and a blog post that I have on my own website. But it tells you that as well. Now, this is really cool though. Hat in hand with plagiarism is the fact that we're often citing sources. If we're doing writing and we and we want to give proper credit, especially if we're doing academic writing, obviously we have to give credit. They give you proper certificate or, or a proper format for citing this if they if you choose to. So if you were going to use this sentence, they're saying Steve, if you want to do, use this markup, like you know the APA the, or the Chicago uh, uh, markup systems for the different citations, you, you this is the way that you would cite it or you would cite it here under APA, or here, this copy here under Chicago. So if you are doing academic writing or you're write, writing quasi-academic papers and you want to properly cite and source different, uh, different quotes that you're using in your documentation, this is a tool that, again, helps you keep your head above water, keep legitimate, and also warns you if you might be straying into, into, into the world of true, full-on plagiarism. All in all, Grammarly does probably 80% of what they claim they do on the homepage. They do a good job, uh, but for me, it's engaging them in the process means that my writing is cleaner, uh, it certainly has less mistakes, certainly is probably legally in better shape if I ever could did run into trouble. I think it's a, one of those tools that, as I say, overcomes for some of my own personal limitations quite nicely. All of that for about 130 bucks a year, I think it's money well spent. I hope you found time with us today well spent. And if you have, please subscribe to the, our videos. We uh, produce one new video here each week on productivity. And of course, drop by dottotech.com. We put on productivity courses and we've got a weekly radio show and we just we're just we're just a fun, fun gang of people. Thanks for spending time with me today. We'll see you next week.